Hello and welcome back to Starscape Gaming. I am excited that you are here today. I have a special episode of Hotel Renovator. That's right, folks. Back by popular demand from our subscribers. We are going back to Hotel Renovator. If you're new to the channel, those videos were taken down. Unfortunately, my computer crashed and lost every bit of the progress. So we do get to start over. But for you Planet Zoo enthusiasts, fear not. Those videos will still be out every Thursday. This is just something new and different to kind of switch it up a little bit. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop right in. So after giving this a lot of thought, I have decided that we are going back once again into Storybot, or Storybot. <laughs> so after giving this a lot of thought, I have decided that once again, we are gonna go into story mode. We can do sandbox to switch it up a little bit, but I'm gonna be leaning heavily on you to help me out. I want to, hear your design ideas for some of these rooms. The last time around, I got to do what I wanted. This time, it is time for you to do what you want to do. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start story mode. So here we're going to select our assistant and we have Sandra. We have Max Yamako. Not sure how to pronounce that, but I think we're going to go back with BB 101. Who can be mad at a floating golden robot? It looks like we have an uninvited guest. Let's show her who's boss here. Catch her. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I am still trashy trying to catch the chicken. I have to catch the chicken. All right. I didn't think you'd be able to do it, to be honest. Now we have to get rid of her. Throw her out the window in the hallway. She'll like the big city. And set her free. The hotel is in disrepair. We need to put a lot of work into it. And yet, we already have guests waiting to stay here. So let's get the first room ready. Yeah, I would definitely say that the hotel is very much in disrepair. So we need to find room 101, which we know exactly where that is. Going to go right down here on the left-hand side and kick the door open. Look at all this stuff. Let's earn some money on this old painting. And that old painting is down here and around the corner. Use the crowbar to dispose of the junk cluttering this place and don't hold yourself back. All right. So now we get to go through and destroy, destroy. There really isn't anything in this room of value, I don't believe, best I can remember. So we're just gonna go ahead and destroy everything in here. Destroy the curtains, get some light in here. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and we can press and hold the mouse button to hit hard. And that only hit that. That wasn't really that great. There we go tearing off all the wall paper and i love how you just can destroy so quickly later on you do get the ability to just really just demolish entire rooms in the snap of a finger but for now starting out once again we're just going to just go real slow with it it's gonna take a little bit of time for us to work up those skill points once again oh and i need to remember to keep an eye out for the golden eggs that uh that's in this game because we need to try and collect them again. I almost forgot about that, but I do hope everyone is having a fantastic Tuesday. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I am very glad to be back here. I had a, uh, I had a wonderful weekend. I've spent some time looking and thinking about what we're going to do with our planet zoo series that we have coming up. And, uh, I think you're really going to like it. So I hope you stay tuned for more of that coming up this Thursday. And we are almost done. Just one more piece right there. Oh yeah, and we can do inside of here as well. All right, so that should be everything with the exception of the floor, I believe. And if I remember cor correctly, they want us to demolish the floor in this room as well, which I am perfectly okay with. I've never been a fan of, what is that, herringbone? Herringbone hardwood floors from like the 60s? Uh, I think not. Now, if I recall, there is you have to unlock certain types of flooring and stuff like that. So as the game progresses, you do unlock more and more flooring types, wall texture types, all that fun stuff. All right, and we're gonna start demolishing the bathroom as well. I don't know that this is part of it. Yes, it definitely is. I see the thing going on. It really doesn't tell you to demolish the bathroom at the start. It says to 
take care of the room. I guess this is part of the room though. We'll get rid of these nasty towels right here. Also, if you guys happen to have a game that you would like to see, if there's something that interests you and you would like to see it played, let me know down in the comment section and I will take a look and see if that's something that we can incorporate to the channel. I do enjoy doing the uh, Tuesday one-offs. Uh, we did Gas Station Simulator a couple of weeks ago. We have done this one. Uh, we did the tutorial for the Planet Zoo. So you let me know what it is that you would like to see and we'll definitely take a look at putting that in. Get rid of this ceiling right here and the light. And now it looks like we're just down to the floor. I do remember that this game is very hard to see when it becomes nighttime and you're still in the middle of a renovation. There's a lot of rubble on the floor after all that mayhem you caused. You've got some cleaning up to do. But yeah, if there is a certain game that you would like to see, I uh, still have all of my uh, all my house flippers that we can start a new series on. All kind of fun uh, simulation type games. A new one that I just recently got and I've just been playing it for fun is um, Beer Simulator or something like that. You operate a beer factory. Perfect. Now, it's time for a new floor and walls. Do something modern and tasteful. Modern and tasteful, he said. All right, let's go with the uh, let's go with the floors first, and I think I am going to be looking for maybe ceramic. Yeah, let's see what they have in ceramic. All right, so once again, we don't have that many great options, so I guess I will just go with the uh, carpet. What in the world did it do? There we go. I'm getting back into the hang of it now. I also want to say welcome to everyone that has recently joined the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. I hope you are enjoying the content. I know I really have been enjoying really everything that we have been doing, whether it be the Planet Zoo or the Gas Station Simulator. All this has been a lot of fun. Everyone is great. I really appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting off of uh, the videos, and it really does help to uh, help me to grow and also think of things that maybe uh, I wouldn't have thought of. So I really do appreciate that. Keep the uh, keep the comments coming. Keep the constructive criticism coming. I really do like it. I really do appreciate it. Now, I know there was a way, and I do not remember exactly how to do it, but I know there was a way to do a much larger area or have it look like a larger area was getting done. Maybe that is later on. Maybe for now, it's just draw with the imaginary lines here and filling in the spots that I miss. All right, and I figure for the entryway, we do something a little bit different. Maybe some honeycomb tiles right there in the very entrance and we can uh, mirror that maybe in the bathroom as well and i do know that these renovations can end up taking a really long time as i remember uh some of these would take three and four and five hours to be able to do hopefully it won't be that crazy this time since i do know what i'm doing all right and for the paint that is always much easier to see where you need to be and where you've already done and we're gonna put in a really cool little uh, feature wall here in just a second we'll go ahead and let that fill in oh and i so missed the uh the paint tool that we ended up unlocking in the last one the ability to just do an entire wall all at one time was wonderful we may get back there though we may get back there that's going to be completely up to you if the series continues or not and i feel like this is very similar to the last time when i did this i don't think i have changed up uh, my design style too much since the last time we played this so we're just going to go ahead and run this all the way down try to catch every bit of it and then we'll step back and actually let you see exactly what it's doing because it really feels really cool and we're going to be putting a uh, kind of a feature on that wall back behind us to our right that's why i skipped that one there we go all right and i'll step back and we can watch it fill in real quick that is really cool although later on in the game it does do it much much faster all right and now that's done We'll go ahead and paint here and we're going to paint this little section right over here as well i'm really excited for when we get to redo the lobby once again and we get to redo the um, the dining hall i forget exactly what that was called the dining hall the, yeah i don't remember what that was called but i do know those were a lot of fun to redo because by that time you have unlocked so much stuff and over here where there isn't any light it's the same paint but it does look darker just because there is no light really over here for the bathroom we are going to go with a ceramic and something that's not crazy busy and as you can tell i am very much a fan of the monochrome so let's kind of go with 
these here see if we can get this to fill in i believe i missed a spot right up top yep looks like i missed a couple of spots right up top there that i'll have to go back and touch up here in just a second and one right up there in the corner now for this one i want to do something different maybe something a bit more interesting let's go with this one just have it be like a little feature maybe that's where the uh shower slash bathtub or what have you is uh, there we go lovely i like it i have missed something let me take a quick look around and figure out what i've missed oh it is probably this wall it's probably complaining because i haven't completed this one like i said we're gonna do something uh do something different on this one not that different we are gonna go with a uh wallpaper steampunk wallpaper hello i think this is new i do not think this was here last time okay that's kind of cool how it did it like that all right but i don't think we're gonna go with steampunk wallpaper although i do kind of like that Let's go with some floral. We'll just go across the top with some floral. Kind of a throwback to our Planet Zoo series that we're doing. Now for the most pleasant part, furnishing. Let's start with beds. Guests need something to sleep on, after all. Hey, yes, they do, BB101, but uh, I think I need to redo something with- Also need chairs and a nice little table, so the whole room's appealing to look at. I feel like I need to do something with this wallpaper first, though. It's a bit of a mess. All right, and now that I've got that filled in, that's what I remember. So they have you tear up the roof, but they don't have you rebuild the roof. So we go into furniture. Let's start with our bed. And the bed choices are not that great, best I can remember. We're just going to go with this one for now. And then also they have you put in a lot of furniture. So the room does tend to feel a bit overcrowded. So just looking to see if we can potentially match maybe the bed. Maybe that works. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's as close as we're going to get. We'll just go ahead and drop a couple of these right on either side. And now we need a table. We also need a couch. Let's go with this one. Kind of looks like it could be a bit of a sleeper sofa. And then we'll go back and get a table. Okay, like that one. So we'll go with that one. And then we're going to need a couple of chairs. And they don't have anything that just matches like real real well we're gonna go with this one and not face it towards the wall we'll put it right there all right so next on the list is a couple of other chairs we're gonna skip those for a minute because we do need to go to our wardrobe and i think the best place for it would be right back where it was just over in this corner right here now we need a couple of shelves maybe one on this wall if we can find something like oh kind of like that maybe one there and one maybe like right over there somewhere so the only thing left is one table and a couple of chairs so like a dining table that's too dark although it does play off the bed pretty well i feel like so maybe we can go with that not really a great place to put it i guess we'll put it at the foot of the bed maybe and a couple of chairs to go with it let's go with this one i feel like i've seen a lot of these style chairs in hotels that i have stayed in lovely now for the bathroom and then we're good to go all right and into the bathroom and let's start with our shower Although it, this one does not say to put in a shower. It actually says a bathtub. So that's something that we have to watch out for. That the room requirement itself is going to be what is appropriate. So there's that. Ah oh, yes. The illustrious sinks that are not built into anything. Just kind of floating sinks. I feel like I've seen several of these in hotels that I've stayed in. And now we need a couple of cabinets. Uh, not that size cabinet. Let's go with something smaller. Yeah, like that. Maybe one right over here in this corner and then see if i can find something that i can set the sink kind of down on i feel like last time i did this i found something maybe we just kind of hide this behind the door then nobody has to see the uh, baby changing table in here can we lower this uh, no but i apparently can sell it all right let's try that again all right there we go get a couple of towels it says it's not a towel there's one and then a washcloth We'll put that right over there and then a couple of other things bathroom accessories we can put this over here this room is missing some final touch add some cool lights paintings and standing decorations all right so we need to add a cool touch apparently decorations what do we have in the way of decorations an alarm clock we can put that over here since apparently our hotel does not have the uh, phone for you to call and we need a total of four type of decorations Oh, I kind of like that. And no, they're not burning anything in here. And have a book. Read something. Get educated. All right, and a couple of lamps. Let's see what we have. I do like this lamp. So we'll put one of those over there. And put uh, one of these. Second. Ooh, I like that. Put one of these on each table. Can we, can we get that one in there? It's going to go. There we go. That table's a bit cluttered, but it'll work. I guess we could have gone wall lamps. Yeah, I feel like we can go with the wall lamps. That wouldn't be horrible. Something like that right there. 
I don't like that. This area definitely needs something. So let's go with uh, some type of chandelier over here, I guess. We use this one. We want one in the bathroom. Yeah, I guess we'll put one in the bathroom. Ooh, I remember this. I actually very much did like this picture. There we go. And now just for some plants. So we'll put the plants on the table then. And we need one more wall lamp thing. We'll go with two. One on either side of the wardrobe. If your design is ready, you can make the room available for the guests. I would like to have that fairly level. There we go. And it says I can hold space to finish the room. I would really like to paint the ceiling. Can I please paint the ceiling? Will it let me paint the ceiling yet? Oh, yes, it is going to let me paint the ceiling. Go ahead and quickly paint the ceiling. It won't take but just a moment here. There we go. And that one right over there. And I think once we finish the ceiling, I think we're going to be done with this episode. I do not want these to run as long as they did last time. I know doing two and three and four rooms all at once can be a bit crazy. And of course, that was back in the days when I was doing a video every single day of the week, Monday through Friday, which was not sustainable. Not for me at the time anyway, with uh, YouTube not being my full time job and still working and everything else. All right. I feel like the ceiling is not not the best, but it's not the worst I've ever done. So let's go ahead and ooh, hold on. There are a couple of places that I see that we need to go ahead and just kind of touch up. Preferably with the same color, though. That would be nice. And there and come on there as well. All right. So we'll hold space to go ahead and finish and the before and after. I don't know. I, th I think the after looks a little bit better. I mean, you let me know what you think about it down in the comment section. Do you think the before is better or do you think the after is better? So we'll go ahead and book the room for $200 a day. Sure, we'll take $200 a day. Hello, sir. Welcome to the hotel. And you're sitting inside the table. Okay. Our first guests have just checked in and they look satisfied. It's all thanks to you. Check out the booking app. Uh, we're trapped. I don't want to check out the booking app. All right, and now we can get out of here. Hey, I found a letter addressed to us. Looks like Grandpa left it. Come and check it out. Okay, we'll be down there in just a moment. Let's go ahead and go to the disco. Let's see, go to the disco. Currently at the disco. What? Okay, what is this? This wasn't here last time. Okay, so this is cool, but we need to go to the uh, ground floor. All right, and now we're on the ground floor, but this is where we're going to leave it for today. If you have enjoyed this content, please hit the like button and let me know down in the comment section if you'd like to see more just like this or if you want to do something different. If you have a game that you're interested in checking out, let me know that down in the comment section as well. If you are not subscribed to the channel and you would like to be, I very much would appreciate you hitting that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so very much for your time. I've really had fun doing this today. And as always, I will see you in the next one.